In this tutorial, we'll be creating this replicated text effect using After Effects. Now, obviously, for the stroke animations, we're gonna be using Saber, which is a free plugin. So, once you've got that, let's go ahead and get started on the tutorial. Now, I've got my basic text here set up. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new solid, and we'll make it black, and call this Saber, and add the Saber effect to it. I'll drag it below here, and on my customized core, change it to text layer and select our text layer. I'll set the core size to one and the glow maybe to 25 here. Then starting size set to 50. And this is our basic setup here. I'll go to the beginning of the comp and set the end offset to zero. Let's hit the stopwatch, go to about two seconds and just give it a basic stroke animation. So once I play this back, it just animates the stroke, so this is pretty basic. The only thing I want to do is give it some evolution, so I'll hit the evolution here. Let's go to 5 seconds and give it maybe 50 degrees, so it just scrolls through once it's animated. Let's go ahead and enable our text layer and maybe go over here and I'll hit S for the scale. Let's set a keyframe here and I want it to go from 250 to 100 over the period of one second here and holding down shift I'll hit R to bring up the rotation and set a keyframe for it as well I'll drag this keyframe to the beginning of my comp and give it one full evolution so if I disable this here you can see that we got the text rotating and scaling to the position I'll select all my keyframes here hit F9 and go into my graph and I'll just make it a bit of a faster animation at the beginning here. And once it scales down, like so. All right, this is good enough. Let me just reposition this maybe a bit sooner and drag these together here. Now, the cool thing about Saber with text layers is it follows the transform properties of our text. So the animation and scale remain the same here from our text layer and this is how we are going to be animating this. Now, if you're animating logos, you're going to be doing the same exact thing, but with masks. So for example, if I have a mask on my Saber layer, I'll just draw a quick cube here and I'm going to animate it. So here it will rotate like so, and then scale down. So this is just in case you're doing this with a logo. There you have it. All right, let's duplicate the text layer and I'll go into my Saber layer and make sure under render settings that I have the composite settings set to transparent. So basically the effect is now transparent and not on the black solid. And I'll select these two layers and let's pre-compose this. We'll call this Saber and move all attributes. Let me go ahead and create a new solid and we'll call this gradient. Now I'll right click this layer, layer styles and select gradient overlay. And if I go into the overlay here, we actually got a few styles we can choose from. So let's go with reflected and we can go ahead and pre-compose this one as well and move all attributes. Let's hide this layer for now. And on my Saber layer, I can now add an effect called time displacement. And I want to select the gradient comp I just created and let's set the max displacement to 0.3 and the time resolution to maybe 20. So once I play this back, you can see we get this cool animation of our Saber layer and we can control how many replications we want here with these settings and how soon do we want it to repeat. Similar to the echo effect, but this works in a more interesting way. So yeah, now this is all driven by a single gradient. So for example, if I go back in here and let me change the style to something else. So from reflected to diamond, for example, we're gonna get the variations sort of like a diamond here. You can sort of see the shape here maybe even increase the scale here. And then you can see those replications, which is another awesome effect. So again, you don't have to do the rotation, maybe just the scale and it will come in like that. I'll change this back to reflected and set it to hundred. And let's go back to our main composition. So right about here, let's say we can have the text appear. So I'll set a keyframe for my opacity here, pretty quick from zero to hundred and enable our text layer. And I'll hit U to bring up the keyframes here. And let me just disable the scale and rotation because we don't need it for this one. And maybe go back into our Saber layer and just give it some impact glow. So I'll set a keyframe for these four. Let's hit U to bring them up. 
move a couple of frames forward and just increase this so maybe 2 0 0.7 0 0.7 and 45 and then let's zero them out here again you can do this however you want to i'm just gonna design this kind of like you've seen in the beginning and maybe give it a slide of graph here and just like a impact glow effect so basically once it comes in it also creates the sort of a shockwave which is kind of cool and then reveals our main text layer now to create the colors that you've seen in the beginning i obviously just used a simple gradient here so i can select two colors and you're gonna have some interesting looks with different colors and this is completely up to you so a pretty quick tutorial for a quite cool effect i hope you found this useful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one